Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix Naraka Blade Point is having an issue with crashing but is not launching or warm launch, freezing, structuring, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even mid mode issues is just happening for many of these right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround. So the first one is all about we have to start with a simple restart. So to do this, we just need to go over here in the start icon. Now from here, go over here, do a restart. Sometimes, you know, a simple restart can fix a lot of issue. So we have to start with a simple restart. Next one is all about what we need to do. Is we just need to launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. So right now we are in the Steam and trying to launch the game from Steam is not going to work. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So just go over here in the game, right click, go to the properties, go to the installed file and just click on the browse. Before you can also check that the game is installed on B as well. So just click on the browse. So that will take you to the installation folder. But there is one mistake which everyone used to do. That is, we haven't closed on the Steam yet. So just close the Steam like this and go over here in the file explorer. Go to this PC, go to local disk D, go to Steam library, Steam amps, go to common. Now from here, we have to go to Naraka Blade Point. Now from here, we have to launch the game. So this is the application, so you can launch the game. Or the .exe is here, so we can launch the game from here. So try launch the game by closing the Steam and that will be working. This did help at many users, you can try this out. Next one. We need to run the game as an administrator and we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here in the application, right click, show more options, go to the properties, compatibility, click on run this program in the compatibility mode, set this to Windows 7, go for apply and set this to Windows 8, go for apply and also click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for ok and once everything has been successfully done, just close this and go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. So we just need to delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer. Go to this PC, navigate to the documents and get into my games. So here we'll be having a folder for Naraka Blade Point when you start playing the game and saving each level in the game. So if you have the respective folder, keep in mind you have to delete the respective game and you'll be losing all the progressions, but that is fine. Just delete it. Once afterwards, just launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. We just need to, after trying with this one, we need to, what we need to do is, we just need to unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected with a lot of, uh, for example, external joysticks might be connected in order to play the game. So just unplug everything. Once every unplug means every fairy unplugged, try and launch the game. We can also try, uh, adding the game to Windows security. So just go over here, search for the control panel, and we have to pick on this one. Now from here, we have to navigate to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow an airport feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to Naraka Blade Point. Keep scrolling down. So somewhere else here, you will be able to find the game. So the game is added, the Naraka Blade Point is added. So you have to make sure that you have to put a check on both the boxes that is private and public. So if you don't put a check on both the boxes, make sure that you have put a check on both the boxes and once afterwards, try to launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. What we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot. So just go over here, search for system configuration. Now from here, click on this one and we have to go to the services. Go for disable or go to hide all Microsoft services. Go for apply and go for ok, do a restart. Once a restart is done, we just need to try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. We just need to perform. After trying with this, we need to disable the Steam overlay and also we have to give the commands the launch option. So just go over here in the game, right click, go to the properties, go to the installed file, not to properties, just go over here in the general. Make sure if they enable the Steam overlay while in game, if it is turned on, turn this off and we have to try launch the game. Next one, we have to give commands with the launch option. So I'll try with the first command, that is DX11. Start with DX11. If DX11 is not working, we have to start with DX12. If DX12 is not working, we have to start with D3, D2. We have to start with D3, D2. That might be working in most cases, you have to start with D3, D2. 
So either the DX11 or DX12 or B3D2 will be working. That's what we have to do. If it is T, it's not working. If you're moving to the next step, just remove this and we have to move to the next step. Next step is all about what we need to do. So after trying with this, we have to move to the next step. That is all about we need to close all the overlay and overclocking application. So just go over here in the game, right click, go to the task manager. And right now we have to go over here. So we have to remove all the unwanted things. For example, you can see that a lot of things running in the background. So when you're launching these kind of the game, you'll be having these kind of crashing issue. So just unplug everything. So once everything is unplugged, we have to remove everything. For example, you can't remove Biscard, you can't remove uh, Riva Junior, MSA Afterburn, and everything can be removed from here because it is quite simple as that. When you're trying to launch a heavy games like Naraka Blade Point, when many things are running in the background, definitely there'll be a question issue. So just remove everything and we have to launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. So we just need to move to the next step. That is all about we need to after trying with this one, we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here, search for the graphics settings over here, and we have to click on this one. And now what we need to do is we just need to click on add desktop app, and we have to go over here and we need to click on this PC, go to local disk D. I think the game is over here in Steam library, go to Steam apps in common. Now from here, you can select the game. And now from here, we have to add the .exe. So this is the application. So what we need to do is we just need to add this one, go for app. Once it is added, if you scroll down, we'll be able to find somewhere else here that is added. So just go over here and expand this. Make sure the GPU preferences is being set into high performance. And once it is set into high performance, we just need to close this and we have to try launching the game. Make sure it's all about what we need to do is we just need to up increase the virtual memory so just go over here search for view advanced system setting just click on this one go to the advanced settings once again advanced once again and go for change make sure this is blank and we have to select the locking disk so right now the game is on d so select d and we have to go to the custom size now we have to select the initial size that is 1.5 times the total ramp and the maximum size three times the total ramp so just go over here we need a calculator so just search for the calculator and now click on this one and type 16 GB and multiply it with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 1.5 because it is the initial size so copy this value and we have to paste it make sure the maximum size that is 16 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 14 and 152 and copy this and we have to paste it so once every value is being set, just close this and we have to try and launch the key. Make sure it's all about what we need to do. We just need to update the windows. So make sure the windows is up to date. And also we have to parallel make sure the graphics card is up to date, which is very important. So just go to this link, which I will be providing in the description to the NVIDIA. So if you're on the NVIDIA, just go over here, select everything. If you're on the product GeoFools, you have to select GeoFools. And if you're on the series based on your PC's configuration, select which series is yours. I have already selected my series and we have to select the graphics card. And if you're on the Windows 11, select Windows 11 and go for find. Now from here, as you can see, that will take you to this particular page. And now from here, if you're on the Windows Lab and based on 64-bit edition, you can download this one and install. And also, if you're on the drivers, just go over here and select graphics and go to the RP on RX 5000 series and go for select this one and go to submit. Based on your configuration, if you're on the Windows 11, download this one. And if you're on the Windows 10, download this one. We can also try installing the Microsoft Visual C++. We can just go over here. If the system is based on x64, you can try downloading this one. If the system is based on x86, you can try downloading this one. Even after trying with all these things, see if you're having the trouble with the issue, what we need to do is we just need to go over here, right click, go to the manage and uninstall the game, and we have to reinstall it back. But we should not be installing it back on the same local disk because right now the game is on B. You have to try or this one or this one. And the last and the least step is all about we need to verify the game file. So just go over here, right click, go to the properties, go to the installer file, and just click on the verify game file which is going to cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so it is going to take a bunch of time so we need to wait and i'll be showing you what we have to do next
you were pretty funny. I wish I wanted to not get real and I think like a race is worse than me. I'm the winner.
So now, most probably you'll be getting a message like this, which says all files are successfully validated. But if you're getting a message like this, files failed to validate it will be required. I'll be showing you an example uh, in a video and how we can fix this app. So that's it. So if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any doubts, do let us know in the comment section. Thank you. Have a nice day.